Hello. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about the models in software where uh, we can run the very log codes. So basically, this lecture is to show what are the steps to be followed to execute the very log codes. We know models seem generally used to execute very log codes for the digital lab. So here I'll show one example with the steps uh, which has to be followed to execute that particular example. Now, what are the steps you need to follow? First of all, uh, you need to open model C. So in my system, I already installed the model sim software. OK, and the installation uh, process is very simple. Uh, it is around one GB of software. Uh, you can easily get the link to install this software. And uh, in fact, in my uh, description, I will share the link from where you can easily download this software. So what we have to do, first of all, we need to open model sim that I already shown. Then what do we need to do? We need to go to file option. So from the file, I need to select the new. Then I need to click on project. OK. Now I have to give some project name. Suppose uh, I can give new work deeply. So I can save this work in a suitable folder. So for that I am selecting my D drive where I can create one folder. OK. So. I can use this folder new folder here. I'm saving my work. OK. So I've given some project name. I'm saving my work in uh, each drive. Adaptive one folder is there. So inside that one I have created a new folder and there I am saving my work. I have to click on OK. Yeah, after that. Uh, what you have to do is you need to click on this particular option. Create new file. Click here. And after that, you have to give one file name. So file name, suppose. Uh, I can give any name. Program. OK, you can give your uh, suitable name, whatever you want. I'm giving the name program one. OK, so after that, what do we need to do as we will execute the very log code? I need to select this very log option. So by default, it is coming VHDL, but we are doing this. Uh, coding in very log, so that's why we need to select very log option. After that. We have to. Uh, click on OK. OK, and after that we need to click on close. Then you can see the program one is showing in this particular window. Now you need to edit this file, so you uh, right click over this program one. Then you go to edit option. Now here you can see a new window is created. There you can write your code. So suppose uh, in this uh, particular lecture. I'm giving one example of. Uh, and operation of two variables, so how to do that? So what we need to do? So uh, we can write as module. This is actually the syntax how to 
write the very low code. The first thing, what do you need to write? You need to write module. Then you can give some. Suppose I, as I am doing and operation, I am writing like A and D underscore one, but you can give your suitable name. It's not mandatory that if you use and operation, then you have to give and only. You can use any name, but this name should not be one inbuilt function of a uh, model C. Now, in first bracket, what do you need to give? You need to assign the different variables. So as you know, if you want to do end operation, there should be two input and one output. So suppose Y is my output, A and B are my input. OK, so this order doesn't matter. If you give A comma B comma Y, still it will work. So order doesn't matter. OK. And same for then. After that, uh, what you need to write? Input. OK. So what is your input? A and B are your input. Then output. What is your output? Y is your output. OK. After that, you need to assign the output. So you can write assign. What is your output? Y. OK, S, A and B. So what you can write? A, this is your AND symbol. This is B, A and B. And you need to AND module. So this is the step means uh, this is the program actually uh, in order to do the end operation. So after that, what do you need to do? You need to save the program. So go to save option. This is the save option. You are saving your program. OK, after that, what do you need to do? You need to compile. So you go to compile option. This is your compile. Then what do you need to do? Compile selected. Go to compile selected option. OK, so what it is showing? Compile of program 1.p was successful, means your code is correct only. After that, what do you need to do? You need to go to simulate option. So click here, simulate. Then you have to do start simulation. OK, so after that, this type of window will be created. So here, what you need to do? You have to click on this plus sign, which is given in the left side of this work. So you can click here. So you can see whatever program name you have given. Suppose here we have given and underscore one. So it came here under the work option. So you can see select that one and you can click on OK. Fine. So you can see <clears throat> another new window generated where all the variables are shown. So A and B are the inputs and Y is the output. All these variables are shown. So what you need to do? You can uh, Enter control and you can select all the three variables and you can do the right click. After that, you can go to add to option. OK. Then. You can select. After going to add to option, you can select wave and you can see under wave mean three options are there. You have to select the selected signals. Click here, selected signals. OK, so now you can see another new window generated. So this in this window, what you can do is you can give the inputs and you can get the outputs. So suppose in this particular problem, we have two inputs and one output. So I will give the different value of the input. Suppose two input means I can assign four different values 0, 0, 0, 1. 1011. So first of all, let me give a equal to 1. So what do you need to do? Suppose if you want to give a equal to 1, so you select a, you right click on a. After that, you go to force option. There in the value, you can put 1. Now click on OK. Suppose uh, I, I, I will start from 0, 0. Okay. So let me give you a 0. Uh, click on OK. Then I can do the same thing for B also because I'll start from 0, 0 combination. Now you go to force option, make it zero. 
Okay, so what I have given a equal to zero, b equal, b equal to zero, and I will check the output in this particular combination. So this is the run, run option. This particular icon is the run option. You click one time. So you can see you have given zero for a as well as b, and you are getting zero only as you are doing the end operation. Now, suppose I want to give a <coughs> equal to uh, one, okay, okay, and b equal to zero. Go to uh, force option and make it zero. So you know, as we are using AND gate, a equal to one, b equal to zero. Still, it will give zero only. We'll check by clicking on the run option. Okay, so see. A equal to one. Now the pulse height get increased, so it means that A now changed to one because we have given A equal to one in this particular combination and B equal to zero. But still your output is zero. Now we can check the third combination. We can make A equal to zero. So give A equal to zero. Okay, and B we can select as one. So. Uh, we are supposed to get in this combination also zero. We'll check whether we are getting zero or not. Yeah, still see the output is the same line only. Okay. Whereas in this combination, you can see B height got increased. It means that A equal to zero. Now you see A height got reduced. So A equal to zero, B equal to one. In this com combination, output still zero. Now we'll see the one on combination. So A equal to one, make it one. And B equal to one in this case. OK, now according to the rule, we are supposed to get one because we are using AND gate. We'll see. Now you see why you have clicked on the run option. A equal to one, B equal to one and output is also one. So these are the steps you need to follow in order to run your Verilog code in model C. OK, thank you very much.